Gentlemen, we're going to switch topics now and talk a bit about terror and national security. Governor Christie, you have said that Senator Paul's opposition to the NSA's collection of phone records has made the United States weaker and more vulnerable, even going so far as to say that he should be called before Congress to answer for it if we should be hit by another terrorist attack. Do you really believe you can assign blame to Senator Paul just for opposing the bulk collection of people's phone records in the event of a terrorist attack? Yes, I do. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm the only person on this stage who's actually filed applications under the Patriot Act, who have gone before the Federal, uh, the, the Foreign Intelligence Service Court, who has prosecuted and investigated and jailed terrorists in this country after September 11th. I was appointed U.S. Attorney by President Bush on September 10th, 2001. And the world changed enormously the next day. And it happened in my state. This is not theoretical to me. I went to the funerals. We lost friends of ours in the Trade Center that day. My own wife was two blocks from the Trade Center that day at her office, having gone through it that morning. When you actually have to be responsible for doing this, you can do it, and we did it for seven years in my office, respecting civil liberties and protecting the homeland. And I will make no apologies ever for protecting the lives and the safety of the American people. We have to give more tools to our folks to be able to do that, not fewer, and then trust those people and oversee them to do it the right way as president. That is exactly what I'll do. Megan, may I respond? May I respond? Go ahead, sir. I want to collect more records from terrorists, but less records from innocent Americans. The Fourth Amendment was what we fought the revolution over. John Adams said it was the spark that led to our war for independence. And I'm proud of standing for the Bill of Rights, and I will continue to stand for the Bill of Rights. And, and Megan, Megan, that's a, that, you know, that's a completely ridiculous answer. I want to collect more records from terrorists, but less records from other people. How are you supposed to know, Megan? Use the Fourth what are you Amendment. To, how are you supposed Use to? Use the Fourth no, Amendment. No, I'll tell you how you look, get a warrant. Let me tell you something. You get go, a judge to sign a warrant. When you, uh, you know, Senator. Go ahead, wait, Governor Christie, make your point. Listen, Senator. You know, when you're sitting in a subcommittee just blowing hot air about this, you can say things like that. When you're responsible for protecting the lives of the American people, then what you need to do is Here's to make sure is to make sure that Here's you use the, problem, the system Governor. the way it's supposed. Here's to work. the problem, yes, Governor. You fundamentally un misunderstand the Bill of Rights. Every time you did a case, you got a warrant from a judge. I'm talking yes. about searches without warrants, there is indiscriminately no of all Americans' records, and that's what I fought to end. I don't trust President Obama with our records. I know you gave him a big hug, and if you want to give him a big hug again, go right in. And, go ahead, Governor. And you know, you know, Senator Paul, Senator Paul, you know, the hugs that I remember are the hugs that I gave to the families who lost their people on September 11th. Those are the hugs I remember. And those had nothing to do, and those had nothing to do with politics. Unlike what you're doing by cutting speeches on the floor of the Senate, then putting them on the internet within a half an hour to raise money for your campaign, right. and while still putting our country at risk. All right, we're going to cut it off there. Done. We have plenty more we want to get to.